Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's very quick tutorial, I'll show you how to do a locked on stabilized shot. This effect I saw the first time in a commercial for headphones, which were kind of cool. So in this super quick tutorial, I'll show you how you can do that effect using DaVinci Resolve 18 and the Fusion page. So without further ado, let's get right to the video. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and let's start by making this locked on stabilization effect. And we're going to use this clip of this woman running and uh, we're just going to highlight the clip and jump directly into Fusion because we're going to do this inside of Fusion. I'm sure you could do it inside of the color page as well, but however, I like doing it inside of Fusion. So I'm just going to push shift spacebar and I'm going to search for track. Here we have the tracker. I'm going to add the tracker in. And if you did not select the media in here, your tracker is going to be here, but you can easily move that by pushing shift and then clicking on the mouse and then just drag and let go. And then it's in here. So now we have our tracker and the way this works, we're going to move this and we're going to find a contrasty place. In this case, I think this should be very good. So we want to track this area in our clip. And if we take a look down here in the tracker, we can also see what we are tracking right here. It's nice to have this overview as well. So we are aware of what we are tracking. And then we have this dotted line here, and this is the area where the tracker is searching for our track. And before we start tracking, we are just going to make sure we are on the first frame and we are, and we're just going to push forward right here. So now DaVinci Resolve will do its thing. And usually it makes a pretty good track and uh, hopefully it will do it this time as well. Okay, with the tracking done, we are going to say OK, and then we can see all our tracking here. What we then want to do is we want to go into the operations. And in the operations, we're going to change this into match move. And then we have the merge here, and we are going to change this into background only. So here we have the track done, and we can see now she's pretty stabilized and the background is moving around. That's just one problem with the background. As you see, the image is moving around. So we have to zoom this in. Um, so if you know you're going to do this effect, you might as well shoot wider than you want because we are going to crop in some of our image a little bit. So again, to do this, I'm just going to go shift spacebar and I'm going to search for a transform, which is right here. Of course, you could also take the transform right here. But with the transform selected, I'm going to zoom out a bit here. And then I am going to zoom in my image a little bit. And let's move it down like that. Let's see if that's not enough so we're going to zoom up a little bit more and then we could as well just reposition a bit something like that okay then we just go into the edit page and here we have the final effect so you can now see that everything is centered around her she is pretty stable and the background is moving up and down as you see right here also we can go up here and you can see the before and after with the background now she's the moving and the background is still we put in the effect and it's the opposite she is still and the background is moving a pretty cool little effect you can use for your projects anyway I do hope you found this little video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.